Excellent plugins are great. RC20 XL, highly recommend them. I'm also gonna leave a list of my top XLN plugins in the description down below. So check those out if you're looking for some new source. But there might come a time when you need to uninstall the XLN plugins, like I did the other day when FL Studio was beating my ass and it just wasn't working. Damn, I said ass too quickly in this video, I might get demonetized. Hopefully not, I'm gonna keep it in there. <laughs> the problem is you go to your control panel, you go to uninstall programs, you look for the XLM plugins and they're not there, they're hiding out. What do you do? This video is gonna show you the step-by-step -step process you need to follow to uninstall your XLM plugins the right way. And it's not just the right way, it's the fast, it's the easy way. But before we slide into it, I've got a question for you. Question is, what's the most effective way to use EXO to find the drums you need? Comment down below with your answer. If you don't know, don't worry, I'll be revealing the answer later on in the video, just stay tuned. Now let's get into it. First thing you need to do is open the XLN online installer. I don't know why they call it online installer. It's just an installer. I guess it's probably connected to online, but it's the XLN installer, isn't it? But you know, go to start, type in XLN online installer and it will come up. You might have to update it if you haven't used it in a while, but once that's done, here's what the online installer will look like as of today's date, which is October, 2021. They might update and make it look different there down the line. I can't speak to that. But next thing you wanna do, basically the things that you wanna uninstall, just untick them, okay? <laughs> that's all you need to do. Untick the things you don't wanna install. And then you click over here, this yellow button, and it will uninstall all the things that you untick. So if you want to keep addictive keys, but you want to get rid of XO for some reason, and you want to keep RC20, you just click this to uninstall. You untick those, make sure it doesn't have a green tick. And then Bob's your uncle, it will uninstall that. Happy days. Simple, easy, fast, told you. Now, if you want a simple, easy, fast way to create your own trap beats from scratch, listen up. You can use my nine step easy trap beat making formula. All you need to do is go to jcarterray.com forward slash free trap course or go to the link in the description. This course will show you how to create your own beats from melody to mastering, and it's absolutely free, so you've got nothing to lose except for the fact that you might lose the opportunity to sign up for this course if you take too long. It's not gonna be available forever, so sign up right now. Link's down below. Now it's time to answer the question from earlier. What's the most effective way to use Excel to find the drums you need? Now, let me get into FL Studio to actually show you how this is done because it'll be easier to explain that way. So here we are in FL Studio and here's all our drums. It's pretty easy to find your drums using XO doing stuff like this, but the best way is to actually go to the search and filter box, come down here and actually choose the folders you wanna look through. So let's select none. And let's say we are creating a trap beat, which is usually the case for me. Let's say we wanna use these folders because we know we're gonna get some good sounds in these folders. Now we can only select from these folders and we're always gonna get a sound which is gonna be in our genre that we want. So look. Another great way to use this filter feature is to actually just type snare because all I want is snares. That's all I want right now. So let's see all the snares and all we get are snares, okay? So if you want a specific instrument, you can type that in. You want a specific type of sound, you can pick by folder. And this is the most efficient way to get to the sound that you want without wasting a bunch of time listening to a bunch of samples that you don't want. This is what makes EXO so powerful, in my opinion, because it makes it so easy to find great samples. If you got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, let me know in the comment section down below. Check out that video next and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.